Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. I am Star Creator Starco Gaming and we are back with another Marvel Future Fight video guys today. Uh, it is time for our power ranking for Universal Tier 3 character. It's been a very long time since we talk about ranking on uh, Tier 3 characters. We'll, earlier this month we released for the Blast. Uh, today we're going to be doing for the Universal character since we just got uh, Silver Surfer. So we're going to be ranking him into that process. But before we get to that guess, let's take a look at the sponsor of this video. Check the link in the description and find your favorite hoodies and tees now. So the, the actual roster for the tier 3 universe character is actually very, very, very small. We have a 5 option here, guys, which is Thanos, Captain Marvel, Thor, uh, Jean Grey with the uniform, obviously and silver surfer so that is not going to be a long ranking today and we're going to explain why we're putting those characters in the position we are putting them so the number one tier three character uh, universal is definitely going to be silver surfer silver surfer pvp capacities are about even with Jean gray right now so it definitely deserves a good the meta spot in uh, in PvP, they're pretty much events, so uh, it is pretty close there. But where you really get the edge over Jean Grey is the PvE content. PvE content he is just amazing. You can um, I hear rumors that you can actually cap in you know, all its stream, no restriction, with a CTP of her region, which is is actually the only character that can achieve that. Uh, is going to be able to cap Universal Hero, uh, which a Jean Grey is not able to do. So it is a huge, huge, huge improvement. Wall Boss Ultimate, he can clear higher than Jean Grey. He can clear wall, uh, Giant Boss Rate faster than Jean Grey. He can clear higher Shadowland Floor than Jean Grey. So that kind of give us the comparison here. They're pretty much even in PvP, but in PvE, he is a lot stronger than Jean Grey. So uh, definitely this fella here, I should click on this picture first. <laughs> this fella is right now in the game, the number one tier three universal character in my personal opinion. And if we move to the second one, guys, I think you, you kind of guessed it already. It's going to be Jean Grey, obviously, with the Marvel Girl uniform. If you don't have the Marvel Girl uniform, well, she's not universal. But with the Marvel Girl uniform, without a single doubt, she is the second strongest one. Uh, they are both, uh, you know, top meta uh, character in the game. They're two of the strongest uh, tier three in the game. But Jean Grey has to come in second place for the first time in a very 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 long time Jean Grey is going to be uh, obviously meta in PvP she's going to be able to do some uh, really decent work in a PvE event with a PvP build which is actually really great uh, she is a monster in GBR she can get you 5 million plus in Lance Valk stream uh, she is um uh, wall boss ultimate she can get you stage 70 80 plus without too much problems if you have actually a pve build so definitely she is a very 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 solid character most people use her for pvp but she can actually be used in the bow game but personally i got agreed on her and i still can clear wall boss ultimate 65 to 70 so she is definitely still a very very solid character guys i went to that silver surfer stole the first position in universal character this month uh in position number three we're gonna have to go with tennis uh tennis is a monster um sadly that's another <laughs> one 1600 cc yet so basically the top three universal uh, tier three characters are all 1600 ccf which totally suck but uh Tennis is a monster uh he can do uh wall boss ultimate 70 plus with a uh pv build he is made of wildlands ball extreme universal super villain uh, he can solo Galactus, he can solo Master Mold, he is, uh, he can do Shadowland 120+, plus. so there, he has 
no weaknesses and in pvp he is also a meta for pvp top five meta for pvp without single doubt if you build him with regen or greed he is awesome there's literally nothing that Thanos can not do in a game similar to Jean Grey similar to Silver Surfer he just does it in a little bit smaller capacities than these can actually do which is kind of why that uh, he gets a third position instead of being second or first in this list and uh, now if we move to the fourth position we're gonna have to go with Captain Marvel uh, Captain Marvel is nowadays mostly a pve character uh she gets wrecked by Jean gray she jack she gets wrecked i mean on autoplay pvp autoplay obviously she get wrecked by Jean gray she again she get wrecked by silver surfer she most of the time get wrecked by Thanos. she is still a very strong pvp character if you don't play her against those characters or if you play her manually but mostly our, most of our usability is going to come from PvE, uh, Alliance Ball Extreme mostly. Alliance Ball Extreme, giant boss rate, she is amazing. She can cap universal female, she can cap universal hero in Alliance Ball Extreme. Uh, she can solo Galactus, she can solo Master Mold. And in the World Boss Ultimate, she can still achieve a stage 60 to 70 with her, which is actually pretty solid, which is actually close to what... Uh, Thanos can actually do in PvE so if Thanos is good enough for wall boss ultimate she is definitely good enough for wall boss ultimate but with all those meta that came out lately in PvP she kind of lost the spot there but she is still um, the best uh, 800 CCF character to get as universal character without a single doubt without a single doubt and lastly guys Lastly, we have a Mr. Thor. Thor is not a bad character. Don't get me wrong, guys. Thor is not a bad character but because there's two other characters that can cap Universal Hero Lance Ball Extreme. Uh, he is useless while Lance Ball Extreme, especially that you need so many blessings on him to actually be able to cap with him. It's not worth it. Um, he can solo Galactus, he can solo Master Mold, uh, he can do very high floor against a Bunny Ma in the Wall Boss Ultimate, like 80 plus. It is actually possible with him, so he's still very solid Wall Boss Ultimate character, but he is totally worthless in PvP. And since he has no place in Alliance Ball Extreme and pretty much only perform good against one Wall Boss Ultimate, uh, even though that he is still a solid character. He is nowhere as good as the other four universal characters. Even Beta Ray Bill with his awakening skill uh, is stronger than Thor. So uh, Thor is not a bad character, but until he gets a better uniform, he is still going to be a character that we cannot recommend you to get at tier 3 and will get the last position in this power ranking list, obviously. So that pretty much covered the list, guys. If we do a recap here, we have Silver Surfer number 1. Marvel Girl Jean Green number two, Tennis number three, Captain Marvel number four, and Thor number five. This is my power ranking. If you guys disagree, uh, feel free to let me know what is your power ranking in the comment section down below. As always, guys, if you have any question, comment, same place, go in the comment section. Uh, don't forget, guys, that we stream Monday through Saturday, 7 p.m. Pacific time on Twitch. You have the link in the description down below. If you enjoy the content and want more of Marvel Future Fight, make sure to subscribe to the channel and drop a like on this video, obviously. And guys, you all have a good day and hopefully I get to see you all again in the next video. Thank you.